Welcome, Isaac Wilson, in the building. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by the One Night Team Media Studio. It was good. It was good to be here. And being on the Keep the Faith podcast. Well, how was your experience with the Keep the Faith podcast today? It was good. I loved, <laughs> I loved the conversation. I it was great the, conversation, It was a great right? conversation. And great. You, see one of, you see one of the commenters just want to go back and forth. <laughs> yes, yes. We get, we, get, we get agitated all the time, but we, yeah. yeah. But it was great conversation. <laughs> now, you have this huge event that's coming up on November the 12th. Tell everyone what's coming up on November the 12th. Uh, an evening of distinction um, is where we highlight uh, some past, present, and future heroes of our community. They're doing great things. They're moving the community forward. Um, so we're going to highlight people like Jolette Law, uh, the only female to ever play with the Harlem Globetrotters, uh, Senator Gerald Malloy, uh, Tim Waters, who just opened up to save a lot, uh, and the first black city councilman. Uh, well, county councilman in the the county of Florence, Mr. Jerry Keith, uh, senior. So uh, it's going to be a great night. Um, Tanya Brown is going to host uh, the red carpet, and then we're going to have the one and only from the big DM, Jeffrey Lampkin, in the building hosting the show. So it'll be a lot of laughs there as well. So, And also, you tell everyone about your books. You got two books. Is it just two books? Right, I the actually bullying? have four books. Oh, tell about all four books. <laughs> See, I got focused on the bullying, but tell yeah, about I the four. I mentioned, four. I mentioned all four books. I actually have four books, two uh, bullying books, The Bully and Me, which is my bestseller. Over 16,000 copies have sold worldwide. Uh, and then we have Mila Takes on Bullying. Um, and then we have In Between Single and Married, When Your Expectation Doesn't Meet Your Reality. Uh, and then we have 20 Courageous Men, which are 20 stories of triumph and, uh, and overcome uh, for our young boys to, uh, to take a look at. Well, I have to get that book for my son. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 20 powerful stories that any young man reading that can find a couple of stories in there that they can relate to and overcome any situation that they're in. Okay, absolutely. And also, um, you said, what, how long do we have to purchase the tickets for the fifth this Friday, 11.59. <laughs> that means Saturday morning when you're getting ready for the Pecan Festival in Florence, you can no longer purchase tickets, okay? And then you also said that in regards, because we also touched on the bullying. If anyone wants to reach out to you for bullying, you're open to coming and speak at schools. Yep. And actually, you mentioned um, doing a podcast where you'll be speaking. So reiterate where you'll be speaking this week. If if I can be of any assistance to speak at any school, um, any community center, uh, any church, um, you can do that at the IsaacWilsonProject.org. I'll be more than happy to come out. Um, I will be at uh, Timrod Elementary on uh, Wednesday morning, and then I will be at Greenwood Elementary on Thursday morning here in the great city of Florence. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. And also, you have paraphernalia as well. Have paraphernalia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speak up and speak out about bullying. Uh, do the right thing. Sweatshirts. We have uh, hoodies, long sleeve, short sleeve. We have some hats coming. Uh, you can get your the Eisen Wilson Project t-shirt, hoodie, or uh, sweatshirt. Uh, and you can get your books. All of that in one a one-stop shop on uh, the website. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by the 119 uh, studio. And I would love to have you back on the Keep the Faith podcast. Just, just let me know when and I'll be happy to come back. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping through because your schedule is so busy. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for making time out of your busy schedule to come in today. No problem. All right. Thanks. No problem.